it's held upright like this, and in the older days, before the baron was a musical instrument, it was a ritual instrument, and it was played by pagans. And in those days, the, the, the instrument was, was much bigger, much taller drum, and a little bit deeper, um, and would have little cymbals around it the same way a tambourine would have, okay? And in these days, the sound of the drum was a little bit more like this. It was just with the backs of their knuckles. It was a very, very simple kind of an instrument, but um, it's still used today in a lot of meditation circles. Um, this was the kind of idea, okay? Now that moved on then, and then it became a musical instrument, and that's where it was given its name. Does anybody know what the name, what the word baron means? Anyone? It means deafener. <laughs> there you go. I'll just show you how much Irish musicians actually hate the baron when it started off as an instrument. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you an idea of why it was called a deafener. So you may put your fingers in your ears now. <laughs> I'm only joking. I won't kill you. Um, okay, I'll give you a little idea of what it looks like now at, um, at the kind of evolved state that it's become now over the last hundred years. Um, it's become very interesting. I'm biased. No, I mean. 